It's Monday, Straight Air News viewers. Hope you all had a good weekend. Thanks for tuning into your weekly rundown. I'm here to give you an inside look of what's going on behind the scenes. Simone, what's happening in New York? I'm following some major developments in the Spotify Joe Rogan saga. Today, we just published a piece on Spotify doing damage control after losing billions in market value last week. This comes after the Neil Young ultimatum, and now more podcasters and artists are threatening to pull their content from the platform. But after Spotify announced it'll start adding disclaimers to COVID content like Rogan's contentious episodes, Spotify stock recouped all of last week's losses. So Spotify's back in the green now, but expect to hear more news on this with big names like Brene Brown, Prince Harry, and Meghan Markle now joining the chorus of creators criticizing the company and its handling of COVID misinformation. We got a cool graphic out there on Twitter and Facebook right now dealing with resurrecting woolly mammoth DNA. And so that's pretty cool. We got a team of Harvard medical scientists out there looking to combine a woolly mammoth with an Asian elephant. So check that out. On our YouTube, we're going to be streaming a couple of press conference briefings. We got the White House briefing at 11, followed by the Pentagon briefing at 1.30. So keep an eye on that. And then our opinion newsletter will be launching tomorrow. Got a little bit of opinions from the left and right side. So if you're interested in hearing you know, a more expanded opinion piece on some of the issues we're dealing with on the website, definitely check that out. Again, that's coming out tomorrow. So it's a lot of exciting stuff building up. We'll keep you posted. Well, Mahmoud, we're talking about Trump after a rally over the weekend, kind of further inflating uh, speculation that he's gonna run in 2024 and what will happen. Uh, if he gets in office. So that's been an interesting uh, topic of conversation today. And also lawmakers and the public still reacting to President Biden's announcement that he's gonna pick a black woman uh, for the Supreme Court. 76% um, of those polled said that they would prefer if he picked the best candidate, you know, consider all the options. Um, but then also, you know, lawmakers, two Republican lawmakers have very differing opinions on what he should do. Um, so it's generating some conversation and we're digging into that. I appreciate those updates as always, crew. Heading on over to our website, Gwen just published a story about the Russia-Ukraine conflict and why the U.S. is getting involved. Ian Toner has three athletes who could make U.S. Olympic history. And in case you missed it, Simone has your Five for Friday for alternative investments. Those are all your updates from the Straight Arrow News team. That's your weekly rundown. We will see you in the next one.